Hello everybody, I'm Carmen Hara. Back into your life, back into your home uh, with a very, very powerful topic. The four kinds of love relationships. We've talked about relationship many times before, but uh, this time it is very important to be able to identify what kind of relationship you are in. It's important for your well-being. It's important for your emotional stability. It's important for your life overall to find out what kind of a relationships you are in. As you know very much, nothing hurts more than love. And when you're in love, you know, you are overwhelmed with feelings and we are susceptible to emotions. And overwhelming emotions are not allowing us to think logically. So, uh, in many cases, I have people coming to me overwhelmed by feelings who want to work things out. Even if things are not meant to work out, you want to work them out because you are so involved emotionally. So, what I'm trying to say is that today, you know, try to detach yourself a little bit for all those feelings and be able to identify out of the four types of love relationship which one you are in. And I'm going to start with the transitory relationship, relationship that are just a transition in your life. For instance, a girl in college, she's meeting somebody. That's a transitory relationship helping her to become a woman or a person going through a divorce, meeting somebody else. That might be just a transition in her life, taking her from the pain allowing her to cope with the pain of the divorce. So those transitory relationships are short relationships but are very necessary. A relationship that can help you heal or can help you uh, move to a next level of evolution and to the next relationship into your life. The most common relationships are actually the compromise relationship. When you settle for each other, in my uh, career, I've seen this every day. People who come to me said, I've been married 25 years. I've been married all my life. I don't love my husband, but I'm in this compromise because we have children together. We share the same house. So you actually settle for each other. And uh, in many cases, these people, you know, continue to settle for each other for their entire life. So I want you to pay attention if you're in a compromised relationship because those are the most common relationships. Another type of relationships are the karmic relationships. And those are like based on the number one law of spirituality, which is the law of karma. When two people have something, some business, something to work out, some kind of a pattern to break through. Uh, like, for instance, when they meet, it's like an instant karma. They connect right away. They have something that they need to go through together. And when that karma is resolved, the relationship is coming to an end in a very easy way. In many cases, um, karmic relationship can also be soulmate relationship. So uh, you have to see whether your relationship is karmic or compromise, or just a transition in your life. And the last and um, not the least, but the most powerful of all love relationships is the soulmate relationship. And that's very, very difficult to find. Uh, you're in a soulmate relationship when you just look into each other's life, you just get each other. It's the two of you against the world. I wrote a very interesting article for Huffington Post called uh, 10 qualities of a soulmate. And I want you to read that just to really understand every single aspect of being in a soulmate relationship. As I said, it's a very rare relationship in comparison with compromise relationships that are very common or even karmic relationships that happen very often in, in our lives. So from transitory to compromise to karmic and soulmate, these are the four types of relationship and I want you to identify which one of them you are in because understanding uh, your own love and understanding relationship is a very powerful tool that helps you live a very stable balanced and healthy life um, let me know what you think and let me know which relationship you are in 
feel free to email me at carmenhara at AOL or write me on Facebook at Carmen Hara, my fan page, or uh, just call me, call me, send me a text. You have all my information at www.carmenhara.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm looking forward to your response to my uh, uh, video. And uh, next time I'm going to do a video, which is going to be very soon, we'll talk about the kind of a relationship you are in and how we can make them work and how we can break to the pattern of a karmic relationship how can we get the most of a relationship by untangling from the um, deep intense uh, uh, emotions that sometimes are not helping us again i'm carmen hara and thank you for watching i love you